Hey everybody, Greg with Drifter Journey. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, this is going to be a how-to video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see more stuff from us. Today we're going to be showing you how to fix Max Van issues. Our Max Van decided that uh, the buttons were going to stop working. So we can't control the speed of the fan anymore. We reached out to them and they sent us a new uh, little button thing. What do you call that? Keypad? I don't Pin know. Pin Auto International. Something like that. But they sent us one. We're going to go ahead and put it on. Uh, don't know how to do it. So I'm going to show you how I do it. But it looks like there's just 3M adhesive on the back and a little clip. So I'm going to turn off the fan, pop the cover off, and then uh, go from there. Figure this out together. So first off, got to flip these guys to get the screen out which can be a pain sometimes. Oh, that one's tight. Sometimes they go easier one way than the other. Man. Are you trying to do this in one take? Yeah, I'm one taking this. Do you like that? Maybe yeah, you're doing really good right now. It's a one take video, guys, so she's doing her best to aim it up here, and she's doing a fantastic job. We can make it two takes if you want to flip it around. I can't get this one anyway, so maybe we should. All right, once you have all four clips turned, go ahead and pull the screen cover down. And while you got it down, maybe you just want to clean things out in here because they get dusty. Ah, oh, I'm going to need a screwdriver. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver to get this knob off, it looks like. Why do you have to take the knob off? We're replacing this one. Oh, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we are replacing that one. Good eye. All right, so hopefully I don't make this worse than it was, but we're just going to peel this guy off and hope that it makes sense under there. As it probably should, right? Yeah. Oh. Um, is it not working? It's like peeling in half. Oh, I'm not actually getting in. Alright, we gotta get the actual 3M layer off. And it looks like when you peel it, you might want to pull the fuse out. Because when I did that, I started pushing the buttons. Not the end of the world, though. Oh, I can take that little guy out too, don't I? Yeah, so you may you may want to take pull the fuse. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the fuse now. <laughs> All right, now that we got the fuse out, so that you don't do any more of that, which I kind of knew I should have done that ahead of time. And you actually get the base off. You're gonna have to reuse this little bubble. Which just pops out. It's just a little plastic guy. I'll put it to the side here so I don't lose it. And then hope that this is easy to that's gonna be a bitch. <sighs> Bomber. So so yeah, the connection's up in there. I already did it, but I'll do this for theatrical experience. I grab near the base, pull, 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 pop. It's out. So let's uh, try and get the next one in. This is the joy of uh, doing repairs on the spot when you don't know how to do it. But you guys will know how once we figure it out for you. Okay, which way does this go? This goes this way, correct? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna we'll put the little Plastic no. guy. You should plug this in first. Plug it in first. Then, well, 
Then we'll peel the back. Then we'll put the plastic guy in. Yeah. And then we'll stick it up. Correct. All right. But this is the right way. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Get in there nicely. It's hard to see. There's little tiny pins up in there. Ooh, that might be it. Is it way? straight? Does it look straight? It doesn't look like it's in all the way. Well, it's not in all the way, oh. but is it straight before I yeah, smash it up in there? Yeah, it looks straight. Do you need small fingers? No, I think I'm in. Should we test it before we probably. stick it up? Probably, huh? Yeah. Put the fuse back in. I'll put the fuse back in. Okay, I heard a click. That's a good thing. All right, check those. Yeah, nice, beautiful. All right, I guess we power it back down for a second. Pull the keys again. This is a good video, isn't it? <laughs> By the way, it's like the hottest day ever in California right now. It's hot in here. Okay, so we got that. And next up, we're gonna do the button. Correct? No, you gotta take the three of them off. Feel the back. Are you sure this is in all the way? I felt pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I pushed it on both ends. Okay. I don't think it's coming out. So yeah, I think it's good. Oh, that might be a U job. Maybe. They should have a little, a little. They should put a little extra tab on it for the future, just so you guys know. Make it easier to get. All right, so she got it. Next up, a little dome, as she calls it. Looks like the wife's taking over the project here. Dome inserted. So this strip was kind of tucked in. Yeah, there. it's just kind of folded up and tucked in. And then line her up. No, this is not easy. I just oh, want to make Hold on, it's folded. That's the problem. It's not like staying in there. Does that look good? Is it going? Is it good? Yeah. Right there? Yeah, looks fine. Huh? Is the strip in there? I think so. Okay. Looks good. And let me just double check to make sure it still works. We're kind of so well, but it should. So we'll put the fuse in again. Okay. Also, for all you fuse people, label your fuse box so you know where everything is. Makes things a lot easier. Bueno? Seems to be working. All right. Well, everybody, that's another riveting <laughs> Drifter Journey video and how to repair your Max Air Fan little button thingy. Keypad 8. When your keypad 8 stops working, yeah. get a new one and replace it. Uh, there's a dog wandering around outside, so we're going to go pet it. <laughs> uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe we do want to hear from you we'll obviously keep providing uh, fixed videos if we have issues uh, they were great with their warranty it took a little bit longer than we expected but yeah. we've also had the part for a month now without putting it on I've always so. had good luck getting parts from Max Air they just aren't super fast but send them an email and they're usually pretty helpful yeah or give them a ring um, and have your serial number which is located 
under the screen. Correct. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys. Have a great day.